GTA Soul presence, Hubel's Moon. In paganism, I knew all along that the sun represented Nimrod and the crescent moon represented the water nymph goddess Semiramis. Then, when I heard about people saying that Allah is the moon god, it confused me since my understanding was that moon was feminine. To make matters worse, I also noticed the crescent moon symbols on top of the mosques as if to confirm that Allah is the moon god. A little delving into the subject revealed that this moon symbol belonged to Hubel, who used to be the main deity of Kaaba. Still, that did not answer my question as to how the male deity Hubel can claim the feminine symbol of the crescent moon. Finally, when I looked at certain customs of India, it all started making sense. In the ancient world, paganism was divided into two main groups of sun's lineage and moon's lineage. The ones who worshipped Shiva, which is the biblical Nimrod, were the sun's lineage. The ones who worshipped Semiramis, that is Durga, also known as Kali in India, were of moon's lineage. These groups were so opposed to each other that they wouldn't even intermarry. They marked their symbols on their bodies, usually on the forehead. Hubel being the son of the same Semiramis, known as Manat in Arabia, they had painted her moon symbol on his idol. That's how Hubel got his crescent moon symbol on his body. And of course the Muslims got their crescent moons on top of their mosques. Thanks for watching.